Hey everybody, it's your friend Sarmat here, back with another episode of Settlement Survival. We're having a fantastic and amazing day today, and oh boy, we're getting kind of desperate on this playthrough. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trade with Rania for some timber. I just got uh, a bunch of immigrants in, and we have an excess of water from our reservoirs, and we're going to trade for some timber. We're really, 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 really hurting on it, so we're going to do that right away here, and then we're going to get this started. So since timber is such an issue, I went around and made sure that we had people in our forester huts up to four. We've got four in there, four in there, and four in there. So that's going to leave us with four free laborers right now. We've had a whole bunch of deaths in the last seasons here. Forester, builder, dredger, gatherer, forester, farmer, all sorts of people dying. And the immigrants arrived just in time. We were really, really needing them. So I have the farms over here. We have three people working in every farm. But we have to watch this season because what happened is I got into this agriculture and I got the farming efficiency finally. So I can never ever remember and I have to do this every single time if we can get away with three with two people in each farm down from three. It would really be nice to get that many laborers back, however many that would be. Uh, but I don't know if we can do it. So I just want to kind of watch. We got two and three here, the standard fields. I know that uh, this one might not be exactly the same as far as these two go but i want to see if how big the difference is it looks like it's pretty close so we'll see how that goes keep our eyes peeled on that one okay and then we have five laborers now and what i also i wanted to do since we have one tech point uh i do kind of want to get into the bathhouse so oh shoot that's another thing that i was gonna order uh get into the bathhouse and then we can get some cut stones and linens. They only need 40 a piece. Uh, so when that caravan arrives back, I'll probably send them out again to fetch these things uh, to get the bathhouse. And we're doing okay with health. It's not awful, but it's also not that great. And remember, we just put in our soap workshop and we had somebody die. So I'm gonna replenish that. But this guy is only one soap workshop. We can only do so much for our little town here. So I, I do wanna get into the bathhouse as well to you know, make sure our health is a little bit better and we can keep that going. Uh, we do have a merchant that just arrived. We have a handful of coins, but let's see if there's anything we can get here. And the thing that stands out to me to get is that domestic fuel. You can see we have, uh, we just got a warning that we don't have any fuel and we've had this problem for forever now and it stems from having no timber. So what I want to get into is this domestic fuel. We have uh, 1200 coins let's go ahead and get i don't know 400 was i can rack us up 800 okay we can manage that kind of a lot for where we're at but i we need we need it the people froze to death so many people froze to death and we even got that boiler room in the last episode and it just, it just didn't, didn't cut it so we're gonna get that stuff we're gonna get that domestic fuel i'm gonna get that working we do have two sawmills now both working to get us domestic fuels but domestic fuels don't matter at all if you don't have any timber. So another thing that we can do to alleviate that timber problem is go into mining and get coal. Now, this is going to be a thing. So iron and coal can produce by the mine. And what we also need for the mine is a little bit of stone, which we have none. So let's get mining. We'll get that started. And mining also takes a good amount of workers, uh, which we don't have a whole bunch of extras, but we'll see. Uh, but it looks like these guys are harvesting already, the uh, agave peeps. It looks like we might be able to get away with two people at least on the agave. Uh, it looks like our cactuses are doing great with three. We might be able to grab that to two. And it looks like our peas and our oats still kind of require three people, but we'll see how much extra time we have. This one's complete and this one's almost complete. So we might be able to get away with two people on agave and with oats. So I'm kind of hype about that. So this mine, before I forget about it, let's go ahead and get this guy going. Oh, I was really, really hoping that it would work right there. It's such a good spot. Uh, and I didn't really want to back off this road a little bit. Shoot, okay. Well, we can, maybe we can fit it in right in here. Perfect, okay. So let's do that. This is going to be our, our coal mine. And I'm glad that it's so close to the town in here because then it's not so far to go for you know bringing things in so this could be our coal we would also like to have an iron mine uh, then we don't have to keep picking up iron around the town here uh but it looks like we don't really have a whole lot of options this will work i guess over here and we'll squeak this guy in on that side 
and then we do want to also get into a little bit of storage stuff for that stuff that's so it's a little bit close by we do have a warehouse here but it's kind of not that close and that one should be used up should be using stuff up so i'm gonna put the warehouse there and we'll put a warehouse here and then the coal is gonna be so great because it's gonna help with the, the heating and we can finally get this boiler room operating with some coal as well we haven't had a whole lot of excess of domestic fuels to heat the boiling room so it's kind of been pointless to have i was excited about it but uh, it's just sitting really so we want to get this wood situation figured out like post haste here and with the coal coming in that should help so what we're going to do is i'm going to prioritize this mine we don't have timber or stone but it is a gathering season so let's grab some of these trees that are around here uh, we don't have a ton of stone close by anymore uh, but there is a couple pretty close down south i am slightly worried about uh, freezing to death going after those but uh, i mean we, we kind of have to at this point and those guys are like way down here but there's a there's an abundance of stuff that's a long trek and i'm really worried about freezing to death going that far down south uh and, and you can see here these guys are freezing and they're just going up over here and that's pretty darn close so you know that's like like right in here so uh i'm so tempted to do it but also not i don't want to lose any more people and we'll lose it's winter time now so we'll probably lose a couple people to freezing so i'm i'm gonna hold off for now we definitely need to do that no matter what because we need the stone and we need the timber so oh, i'm also gonna pause this mine and um i'll pause this warehouse as well let's get this stuff built up first and then we'll move over there so yeah fuel reserves are low we know that uh let's go ahead and i'm going to knock a couple people out of here since we seem to have got away with only two people in a couple of these fields here so i'm i'm super excited about that so the oats and the agave will knock down to two and we'll put let's put it in another warehouse too while we're at it uh, we'll have the the resources to do more and more of those and just be better off with our you know our efficiency and stuff not having to go so far to store that stuff so let's get that set up oh but i did get this other butcher set up with the meat chops and for the geese but um not a whole lot of workers so we did get our caravan coming back which is fantastic we wanted that to come back and we got um got a little bit of money off of it didn't we or like a teeny bit <laughs> yeah so now we're down to 469 silver coins not great not great at all uh so we could try and do so we got a little bit of timber here not a lot uh is get that that stone that we need and the linens for the bathhouse but maybe we'll just hold off on that i do want to do that because the bathhouse is going to be important eventually here yeah see now we're just red and hard so just looking at it, it turns red but we don't have the points to get it anyways so let's just hold out a little bit we'll be able to get some cut stone or not cut stone uh, some stone that we could cut if we get into cut stone here but then we won't be able to get the bathhouse so I, i'm gonna hold off just a little bit we just get somebody as a laborer which is fantastic and then we could also use a couple more people working at uh, getting us some foods so this here cactus workshop usually do pretty well but i'm gonna put one more worker in there and then i do also want to get somebody in our butcher here get some of our geese and getting a little bit more out of that uh, if you missed last episode or you don't remember the meat chops here are at 15 for 10 geese so you're getting plus five after processing it so i, I think that that's pretty good and that's why we wanted to do that i have not banned geese yet so, uh, so we might need to have might need to do that we'll see here in a little bit uh, but yeah so just after it's only february and we're out of food already so this it's it says green but how, i don't get how that's green like it's just barely barely green so we do know that when you build new houses they have to put you know stuff in there for the new houses but man oh man uh but the snow is melting so let's go ahead we'll go down south here let's grab these rocks hopefully that's enough uh, there's plenty more down here to get but for now let's just take our 11 workers and get that stuff cleaned up it does also look like our cemetery is full so we'll have to knock that out we could do that easy peasy and let's see so we should have got some um some wood we did get that and then let's go back over here and we'll do this again uh let's i just want to see prices on no, no let's just do it we'll go cut stone we're gonna go see uh let's go here we're gonna go ronnie again we're gonna sell some water it's you know oh ooh, yuck price went way down um 0.94 yeah so there isn't really a great way to do this um 
See, 0.94 is still the best, and it sucks. So we're, we're in a kind of a pickle here. So let's go ahead and we'll do 200 again. Where's that going to put us? 188. Okay, that'll work. 188. So sad. So pathetic. Oh, let's go 400. Let's see if we can beef it up just a touch. 400. Let's go 8. We'll just, let's just do it. But 800, get a little bit of coin out of that. And then we'll sell that stuff. We don't really have uh, 750 then. We don't really have enough excess stuff to sell. We're kind of struggling with that right now. So we'll just do this, get some water out, and then let's go ahead and let's do the cut stone. Uh, can we even get 40? Are we going to have enough for that? Okay, we are. So we'll get cut stone and then linen is the other one. So we'll get linens going. And we only need 40 of those. Do we have any? No, I didn't think so. Okay, we can manage this. 440. Buy insurance. Okay, let's do it. Get a little bit of money from the water trade, but not a whole lot. Ooh, voices from the well. Click the trigger. Okay. Uh, more and more people are saying that as they pass by the well on their way home, they could hear gurgling sounds and even a muffled voice from the well, even though clearly no one is fetching water. Do you investigate? Absolutely. Water fetchers were carefully checking the well when a translucent ghost suddenly emerged. The ghost took out some candies, seemingly inviting the citizens to eat some. Yes, candies are great. 400 even. Excellent. So that's good for food and it's good for happiness. So our happiness is going to be looking pretty nice here after that. And then I see we have no clothes. So we aren't producing any clothes at all. Interesting. Uh, we do have the alpaca wool and somebody's working in there, but no gains or losses with that, which is really bizarre. But whatever, I guess. Uh, okay, we did get that cleaned up. So that means that this mine should have the stone. Oh, not quite there. Really close, but not quite. So I guess we will have to gather the rest of this. Let's just let's just do the big group and grab that as well. We have a handful of laborers to do that, so it's not a huge deal. What do we have for builders? No builders. Okay, that's awesome. We'll get a builder in there. Uh, detract from our labor account there a little bit, but that's okay. And we'll get some of this stuff built up for sure. Now, we do have immigrants on the way, which is going to be very, very helpful. Again, right on time. Uh, we can fill some more people in here. We, it looks like we are getting some meat pops around town. We're hurting for food. So we're going to have to do something else as well. We're going to have to... Well, let's get some more of these, uh, these farms working. We have a lot that are just sitting because of the lack of workers. So with more immigrants coming in, we'll get more food coming in. And then that should be good. Uh, these guys are super great. Cactus workshops. See, they're 872 last year. And this year's already almost 600. So those are great at processing the cactuses. They do a wonderful job. Uh, but I would do want to check our rep. I'm not really sure where we're at with people. I do. I would like the dense stuff. Dense farms, forests, and orchards are super, super great. They're, I think, the best of the best stuff that you can get. I know we've been trading with Ronnie and Carlos quite a bit. Carlos to get the rope and the agave clothes, which we did do. Um, but uh, I think I think we want to go here next and get the, the dense stuff. If we can really like, focus on our trade or something, I would really like to get that event where we find more kittens. So those are really nice because uh, the kittens uh, were pretty good uh, trade swap. I mean, they were okay. They, you know, they weren't the best. They were, they were something better than nothing, which we kind of have now. I should not have let that lapse uh, with no way to get more cats. Should just kept flipping them like that, but I didn't. So we're out of stuff. It uh, looks like these guys are harvesting up just fine. Ooh, so it's August, so we could do a big gather like so. Um, maybe not a big gather because of, of the of what time of year it is. We don't have a ton of time to get that stuff picked up, but we'll do that. But let's take a peek back at our farms and see how we're doing. So August of last year we were harvesting, and this one was like nearly empty at this point. Uh, it's at 83, and it's at ripeness. So we might need to go back to having three people in these farms unfortunately because august september october and eh, maybe we'll see we'll see it's gonna get close i'm just thinking like how many more months do we have to get this stuff harvested cactuses are are easily harvested at that time so i think we'll knock one person out of there it looks like our standard field for agave seeds are doing okay as well uh, about half done here and but these oats are what i'm really concerned about I would prefer to have two people in each one, but uh, you know how that goes. This might not be the case, no matter how much I prefer it. Ooh, look at all these things to pick up around here. What? What's, what are you doing, Gatherer's Hut? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Put a couple of people in there. And this guy's got a couple of things around it as well. And this what is this one? Wow, those Gatherer Huts really are slacking. So we'll get those queued up to get picked up. 
and then man i'm excited for these other immigrants to get here that'll be super nice to have and we, we are at six. Ooh, look at our heart. Our smiley faces are doing great. Hearts, not so much, but uh, we knew that. But we do have the goods on the way, and we should have one more tech point to get the bathhouse. So let's get the bathhouse learned. We got that. And let's go ahead and find a home for it. So, of course, we want to utilize as many uh, houses as we can. Uh, it looks like it would be ideal right here where the school is. But we, we can go a little bit there, and it looks like we get all of the houses but one if we put it there. And that is going to be the best. So we'll put that there for now. And we'll probably have to do another one eventually. Well, of course, we'll have to do another one eventually. But in this little blip, I think that'll be it. And then when we do another little area pretty soon here, I would think, uh, then we can obviously put in another bathhouse and cover some more peeps. Uh, you guys are going down here to harvest. So these are all gone. So I'm going to turn those off. I don't, don't die for gathering plants, please. I need you guys alive. So these up here, I'm going to grab them, though. That'll work. And then two workers. So this guy here, I would I could turn on, but we only have two laborers. Yet. So I'm going to wait. When we get these laborers here, then we can do that. Uh, it looks like our mine is getting built, which is excellent. And then the warehouse will be short to uh, built after that. And then we'll get our immigrants. We'll get our mine fixed up. And I did miss. Oh, OK, so so we have the numbers here at least so last year with three workers 336 this year 90. so they did not get as many things in as i had hoped so unfortunately it looks like one two three four five six seven of these immigrants are going to have to be farmers but it looks like the, the standard field of the agave did better uh, even more people let's see here after i took one person out so yeah we'll put seven more people in there We'll get a handful of workers in here. So that's going to be probably two in here, two or three. And we'll get that back up and rolling. But I'll be I'll bring back once we get those immigrants and uh, we'll get those goods from the caravans and then we'll be good to go. All right. We have 13 people here just rolling into town. And oh, boy, we ooh, OK, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we have 21 people rolling into town and boy, oh, boy, we have a lot of issues that are just, just all over the place right now. Uh, we have replace the people in the oat farms there for the three and we're going to go ahead and continue to do so with these other ones that we just got since we have a whole batch load of people we're going to need more food so let's go ahead and get those things rolling and we'll do this as well and for now that will be enough i think so we're at 11 we really could use some more wood still you can see we need tools we're freezing to death so wood 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 is our biggest issue where our buildings are waiting for it it's just we're, uh, so our mine is complete so let's get a couple more people working in there we'll have four more people in there uh, let's do five we have five extra laborers so we'll do that so this thing gets rolling we'll get some freaking coal happening here and then we should alleviate the pressure on our foresters hopefully so these guys aren't doing that much like 120 a year I'm like come on dude like it's in the green but i don't feel like we're getting anywhere near enough uh boiler room is still a, didn't we just have six people here in labor so now we have zero come on man we are getting this game is kicking my butt right now so we just uh we need the wood <laughs> it looks like we're in the red with water now and we just kind of need everything at this point we have no freaking cemetery we're just kind of sitting here let's let's go ahead you know what? it is winter time so we have all of our farmers that are available for gathering. Let's 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 do it. We're going to gather a huge bunch of things because we need it. And we'll go like so and we'll go like so. And this should be a good amount of wood coming in. And we're you know not probably enough, of course, but uh, it should get us a little little bit here. We have tools all over the place that we need to get built losing researchers and just everything is just kind of falling apart um well i, I was just kind of looking to see if there's any tech that i'm overlooking uh, as far as like gathering wood stuff and building stuff but and there i can't really see anything if, if, if there's something that i'm missing please let me know here we're just kind of i feel like i'm just flailing just struggling not really getting anywhere right now and uh i could use some help i guess <laughs> 
So we'll see what we can do. I, we did get our bathhouse. We knew that. And so I think the quarry will be the next thing that I get into. But I, I want to focus on the mine for now and getting coal happening before we do the quarry. We got people dying of starvation and freezing to death again. Every winter is like this. It's just it's so hard to keep up with what we have going on. So I think I'll make the priority is going to be our our food. It's got to be. And then we'll do we'll work on wood. So before I do anything more, we got the coal happening. We got the farms happening. We got people gathering up the wood and health is also pretty poor. <laughs> uh, what well, we have our cut stone and linen into the bathhouse. So let's make this a priority. So we have the warehouse that's getting built up still. And then let's make the bathhouse a priority, get that fixed up and going. And then we'll maybe move somebody in there to get that working. And hopefully we can solve this health issue that we have going on in the town as well. So let, let's get food, wood, and our health up a little bit. Uh, we have so many trees that we can gather up here. I know that I'm taking away from gatherers and forester huts. I don't care. I need I need to get the wood in. And that's the biggest thing right now. Uh, so that's, that's what we're doing. I'm, I'm wondering how many agave do we have? 77. Oh, that's not good. All right, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, agave is not doing great. We need more farms, man. I just, uh, yeah, like I said, I feel like I'm, I'm struggling, not going anywhere with this right now. Oh, uh, I feel like we're at fewer people than we started with, and we gained like, like 30 people this episode, and it's just, and they aren't sticking around. They're freezing, they're starving, and just kind of a struggle fest right now. Oh, we lost a hunter, miner, and a child. Okay. So I wish I wish I had that uh, Kingdoms Reborn speed boost on this mine here to get it really going. But alas, we do not. And we don't have any laborers really to harvest these right now. You can see we do have a couple of people trickling over there to, to deal with it. But most of our laborers that we were utilizing are now back in the fields. We have three people on all of our fields. Should be OK to actually get a good harvest this season instead of uh, hardly nothing like we've gotten the last couple. Anything else that we can do temporarily? Okay, good. This bathhouse is getting built up. And Forester's Hut. What did you gather last year? 74. Whole lot of nothing. 41. Hmm. What to do? I, we do have a couple Forester Huts up here that we've been waiting for, but they haven't been able to get, get built. Uh oh, we're down to two hearts now. Yeah, we're in crisis mode now, big time. Uh, 100 people. So let's. we're going to have to start flexing. I think I'll take a, a researcher out of here for our bathhouse uh the school did collapse i missed that it was looking poor and it fell over so our, we're rebuilding the school now as well and uh we do have a we do have a repair person so i don't know if they had taken a day off and it collapsed or what the deal was but yeah it's it's getting rebuilt that's why it's not uh, built anymore i did not take it out because the school is doing pretty well uh, well that may be where i got uh, a bundle of laborers as well i was wondering where they had came from and that's gotta be it and okay yeah this is about 80 percent and we'll see how good that that makes a difference once we get that uh bathhouse in uh the soap is it's it's there but again not quite cutting it tools everywhere we really could use the game to help us out here uh something like uh, the kitties again would be really really nice just some kind of boon from the game instead of just getting hammered right now just can't I can't get anything going. I, I, it feels bad, man. <laughs> but we'll, we'll keep we're keeping trying. We'll get it figured out. It, it'll take us a minute, but uh, we'll get it worked out. And you guys always have great ideas. So but yeah, let me know what what we can do. What am I overlooking to get this back going? OK. Uh, yeah, we really could use the, the backup. So hurry up, get this bathhouse built and we can put somebody in there and that will help our health. And I, I just want to see what the benefits of the health are. Stamina is better. Stamina is better. Health is better. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, movement speed minus 20%. So that's going to hurt efficiency. So that's going to just hurt everything. Uh, yeah. Let's get, well, let's get this thing built up. And once that's built up, well, hopefully that, that'll help our health enough. Was that the ding? Oh, yes, it was. Okay, great. So get this guy out of here. Good old Norman. We'll put him in the bathhouse working. And so hopefully, we'll see, we're at two hearts now. Hopefully that's going to be sufficient to get that working again. Um, let's check, I check out our pastures here, see how those guys are doing as far as production goes. Looks like 78, and then this guy should be pretty good. 
good or absolutely nothing. Okay, that's uh kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't know why this guy. Uh, probably because I haven't uh, banned the geese. Let's go ahead and we'll do that. Uh, let's see if we go to structure or stock management. We're gonna go food. We are gonna find rough food, and that should be under goose. We're gonna ban that, and so that is gonna go straight to the butcher instead of being used up. And so we will get more food out of it. I should have done that before. I even mentioned it and didn't deal with it. So, and then of course to add to our issues, uh, we have no cemeteries. So the people who are dying, which is a lot, are hurting our happiness, which luckily was so high to begin with. Uh, it hasn't really been that negative to us, but not great, not great at all. So let's uh, let's get moving here, builders. Let's, we have an extra person. No, no, never mind. No, we don't. We did have a labor, extra labor for a second. I'm gonna put them out as a builder and get some stuff fixed up here. Let's try and keep rolling. Um, what, let's see what our mines. We lost two people in the mine already. Man, uh, we we don't really have the, the coins to do an order. Let's see what this ship has. Maybe this ship has something good. Oh, we got a person in here that we could get out, get rid of as well. Uh, let's see. come on, ship. Oh, okay. So look at our hearts, though. Our hearts have gone back up to orange, yellow, whatever color that is. So that's very nice. And then what do we have here? So we have cats. Can't buy that cat. Whiskey wine. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. We could get some domestic fuel, which wouldn't be too bad. I get that going again and prevent some of these freezing deaths. Uh, I'm just gonna let it go. I think. 700 I, I think i'm gonna look at our prices here and see if there's something for less than the cat to sell to flip uh and then once we can get back up to cats i'll start with one cat again and we'll start to flip cats uh but uh, i don't have the workers really to do that we're down to 92 adults yeah so this is a disaster uh so i think that's gonna wrap it up for now i'm gonna have to think about what we're gonna do here Again, please let me know if you have any ideas. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope to see you on the next episode of Settlement Survival, and I hope you have a fantastic and amazing rest of your evening, day, or night.